you have people who I call impact makers, people who drive cultural, social, and economic impact. Um, here in my own beautiful community, and as I was traveling, because what I saw projected on my television screen and on my great iPhone did not line up with what I experienced in my own backyard. And as most of you know here in Santa Barbara, boy, we have 2,000 plus nonprofits, people working on incredible meaningful projects um, that not only affect our community, people like you and me, but I found out that people here in this community were working on things that affected the world at large. And so as I was traveling, I found more and more of those people. And especially women who were working quietly in the corner on things that are global, large at scale, and um, so meaningful. So two and a half years ago, I focused on um, focus my time dedicating interviewing women of impact. And so today, after two and a half years and a million words captured and 150 interviews, um, we have the book published. Number of 
schools in New Zealand and in Korea, right? And I thank Ashley and Sophia from the Squire Foundation for hosting you for this week. So thanks to the Squire Foundation for opening up their residence. Then we have Dr. Laura Jana. organization. 
Foundation serves women veterans. Women veterans, uh, women have served this country since the Revolutionary War. It wasn't until after World War II that we were even eligible for benefits. Because we've been overshadowed for so many years, there's a number of issues within the veteran community. One of those is that women are the fastest growing segment of veterans, but they're also the fastest growing segment of homeless veterans. Also, women veterans, um, in the past 13 years, the suicide rate has increased by 64%. Women veterans are also two and a half times more likely to commit suicide than, non -women, than women who have not served. So our organization provides childcare assistance to those who are working and going to school. We provide emergency uh, financial assistance for rent and utilities, and then we also provide professional development. We honor the service of women veterans by empowering the future. So uh, that's what we do. We're here in Southern California. Our hope is to expand our programs across the country. Thank you so much for being here. I'm, I'm glad I sat three deep, so I imagine that would be a really hard spot to uh, follow. <laughs> Uh, kia ora tātou katoa, ko Brittany Pagumua. Uh, hello, my name is Brittany Tay. I hail from New Zealand, Aotearoa. Uh, I'm here with my mother. <laughs> so thank you, Paxi, and to everyone who's made today happen. It's, it's an amazing event. Uh, so I run a business called Kids Coin. Uh, we bring financial empowerment to low socioeconomic communities across New Zealand with a specific focus around uh, Indigenous communities. Uh, we find that in New Zealand that uh, money is quite a foreign language to you know, mm. a lot of the communities that we have back home. So uh, we're really trying to break down those barriers. And I guess, I, I guess one little story that pops into my head was, uh, as Patsy said, I used to play professional tennis. And one of the questions that I had in my mind when starting Kids Point was, why do we have a society where it's so accepted to develop sporting skills while we're young? And that's quite a specific skill. You know, I mean, health and well-being is, should be for everyone, but tennis isn't, you know. Um, and why don't we use that approach when it comes to financial education? Because you know, now I can walk out and play tennis anywhere in the world, and it's, it's given me the opportunity to do that. Um, but money touches everyone's lives, you know. So, for me to see that type of education in the hands of our, our rangatahi, our children, uh, is, is what drives our, our vision and our purpose for Kids Coin. Um, I guess the other thing to add to that is also how technology is influencing today's society, how it's influencing education, uh, and with digital currencies and a lot of money not being you know, a tangible thing these days, uh, it's something that we're working to address. So, Thank you for having Thank us you. here. Yeah. Thank you.